Okay, guys, welcome to our Team Hustle and Heart weekly Thursday night Zooms. I absolutely love being able to do these for you guys. I know that it's a crazy time right now um, with the holidays. I know that there's a lot going on. So thank you so much for taking this time with us. This is a super important topic. This is going to be way less about like logistical um, things. Like last week, we talked about, you know, how to post, how to message. This week, we're going to be digging way more into how do you feel about what you're doing? How do you feel about yourself? And how do you feel about the things that you're doing in your business? Because let's be honest, guys. Um, if you don't feel good about yourself, if you will not feel good about your business and if you do not feel good about your business, you will not do anything for your business. And then you will be one of those people who it just didn't work for. And that's the first thing that I want to touch on um, in this zoom is that I understand that when you're first getting started or maybe you're in your first few months or maybe you're even still just in your first year and you still have that mindset of, this works out for some people and it doesn't work out for other people, right? That's what it looks like from the outside. It looks like some people are very successful. Some people are not successful. What you don't realize until you've been in the business for two or three or four years, like I've been for three years, is that it's a choice. Being one person or the other is a choice that you are making on a daily basis about your business. There is not one person on the planet who's going to stop you from being successful at this besides you. And so that's why this is such an important topic because if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling discouraged, if you're feeling frustrated, that is going to throw off everything else in your business and everything that we can teach you about posting and creating content and sending messages and having conversations and following up and adding new people won't mean a thing if your mind is not in the right place so um that was the first thing i just wanted to you know you're on this zoom make the choice make the choice right now here and now the decision that you want to be successful with this and that you're going to get yourself in the headspace to where you believe in that belief is huge and i'm going to have karina um introduce herself and talk to you guys a little bit about goals here in a second but the number one most important thing that you need to know about setting goals for your business is that you have to believe in yourself in order to hit any kind of goal in this business. Belief in action is what happens when you hit your goals. You can't say, I'm going to go out and get four customers, but inside you don't really believe you can get a single one. Well, what's going to happen? You're going to go out in the world and you're not going to get a single one. So even though you're saying, I'm going to get my four customers. I'm going to go executive, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond. On the inside, you don't feel that way. And that's something that you know deep down. And it's something that God knows. And it's something the universe can like sense. We're a big law of attraction team here, guys. So you have to be real with yourself. And if you're struggling with belief, if you're struggling with belief in yourself, you're in the right place. Because we're going to talk to you a lot about developing belief, developing your why, developing your goals, developing your mindset, how to stay in a good mindset, how to deal when you're struggling with depression, when you're struggling with anxiety, when you feel like you're stuck between that rock and a hard place. Um, but I want you guys to really focus in on that first. So if you joined this business, you have a goal, right? Period. End of sentence. If you joined this business, you have some kind of goal. You want to make $200 a month, $400 a month, $700 a month, whatever that looks like for you. So the very, very first thing before we talk about goals is why? Why do you want to hit those goals? Why is it important to you? We literally call it your why. <laughs> if you go through the, the training that we have or you watch other It Works leaders or you're watching trainings in the team page, you have probably heard us say, what is your why? But me and Karina were just talking about this earlier when we were kind of talking about this Zoom and what we wanted to, to bring to you guys tonight. And I think one of the most important things you can do is developing a why that's really important to you and who you want to be, right? So when I started my business, I started because I just wanted an extra $300 a month because that was going to help pay for gas and groceries. But deep down, I wanted to feel like I was making a difference in me and my fiance's life more so than I was working 60 hours a week and never seeing him. And so that was my, my strong why. 
and now that I've been in the business and I've promoted and I make this money and I get to work from home full time, like my why is totally different. Like I want to be a stay at home mom to our future kids more than anything. Um, I want to help my parents, you know, pay, pay for stuff for my parents as they get older and they start hitting um, retirement and other things. I want to see you guys succeed, you guys succeeding and, and hitting your goals is a huge part of my why now. But it all, again, is kind of goes back and stems into the kind of person that I want to be and the kind of things that I want people to know about me and think about me, which includes being generous, being kind, being loyal, being, being like a cheerleader for everyone who I come across. And that's so deeply rooted in my why. And I think that's one of the reasons why I'm so successful. So right now, if you're sitting here and you're thinking, my why is my kids or my why is my husband, my boyfriend, I encourage you to peel back the onion, <laughs> peel back a few layers on that, and really figure out why being successful in this business is important to you and the kind of person that you want to be and the kind of life that you want to live. And once you've kind of right? Peel, okay, it's for my kids. Okay, but it's because I want to be a good mom to my kids. Okay, it's because I want to be stable, secure, and be able to give them everything they need. That's about you. And that is a strong why. So once you've gotten to that place, and maybe you won't do it on the Zoom tonight, maybe it's something you got to sit down and really think about. But once you've got your why, then we move into goal setting. And so um, goals, goals are, uh, it's kind of a tricky topic because if I asked all of you right now, Hey, what are your goals? You're probably going to tell me like how many customers you want to sign up, how many distributors you want to sign up, um, what rank you want to hit, right? Maybe, maybe your goal is to get healthy, lose some weight, but I'm going to bring Karina on right now. And she's going to tell us, um, there's this system it's called smart s m a r t and it's the best way to set up your goals and i think that it's amazing so i'm going to have you let me see if i can unmute you hold on i'll do it there we go okay so tell us who you are and how long you've been in the business tell us a little bit about your story actually and then talk to us about setting goals okay um so my name is Karina, and I have been in the business since January of this year. Um, but I actually first joined the business back in, I want to say, I think it was 2014, 15 maybe. Um, and then I kind of just lost my way, um, got busy with other things, and found myself back um, in the business. So that's kind of what got me joined as far as my timeline. Um, but... I think what made me realize the opportunity that I had with this business was I knew what it had done before. I was collecting like a small paycheck before, so I knew I was earning real money. Um, I'd never stopped loving the products and what really sparked my interest was the keto coffee. Um, so when I realized that I was working like 45 to 50 hours a week for, I'm going to even put it out there. I was working for Tesla, you guys. So top of the top, like, everybody's dream job of what they think. Um, so yeah, corporate America, 45 hours a week, benefits day one, making more than um, average, honestly. And when I realized that I was still counting change to like buy lunch, and when I realized that I wanted to buy some coffee, because um, I was buying coffee like daily, you guys, three bucks, five bucks, seven dollars, go through the drive through at Starbucks, ten dollars later, but it was only, you know, little bits here and there. And so when I was like, oh, 40 bucks for a bag of coffee, like I can't even swing that right now. And so I looked at myself and I was like, what am I doing? I have a license that isn't even good in this state because I had moved to Nevada. So my esthetician license was valid in California. Um, and I needed to make money, which is why I went and started working for Tesla when we moved here. I needed benefits as an adult. Um, and so when I couldn't afford the coffee, when I wasn't happy at my job, when I really wanted to be doing my esthetician spa dream job and I wasn't, it was kind of a wake up call of like, okay, you are 25 years old and yes, you are successful. If you wanna like go off of like, again, what success is in America. Like I was doing decent, but I wanted more. I needed more. Um, the future I wanted and the life that I like to live um, 
was like getting further and further away from me. And I hated that because I felt like I was doing things and I was making good choices and I was being successful, but it just wasn't enough. Um, so that's kind of what prompted me to jump right back headfirst into this business. And I promoted within a couple months and I reached my goal within a couple months. And I just knew like this time was going to be different, but it was going to be different because I chose for it to be different. You guys, like I completely just threw my business out the window because I was like, I don't even know what I'm doing and I don't care to go sit and watch what other people are doing. So like this business isn't for me. No, I could have sat down three years ago, you guys, and been who knows where, but that is my journey. And I was meant to join this business a second time around um, because I'm not throwing anybody under the bus and I'm not bad mouthing and I don't want this to get out. Like I'm talking badly about anybody else, but this is the team that I was meant to be on. This is where I'm supposed to be right now is with you guys, not on the other team that I was with. And I love my other team to death, but like you guys, I didn't, meet anybody other than my upline. I didn't go on Zooms. We didn't have team Zooms. I didn't know what to do. I, I just got lost and I know why that happened is because I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be. Um, so that's kind of, again, where I came from and how I got to where I am. Um, but back into what this Zoom is about, um, I do not go and go crazy on social media about this. I have a lot of family members that don't even know this, um, even some friends that I've been friends with for 10 years that may not know this, but um, almost two years ago, I was diagnosed with bipolar two disorder. Um, and I've also been diagnosed previously before that with um, generalized anxiety, depression, OCD, like the list goes on, um, but that list doesn't define me. That, that list is, you know, me and who I am. Um, but it has been, again, another choice to either let it define me and stay my ass in bed, excuse my language, um, or choose to get up, rise above, and know that why I started this and what I wanted in the beginning has only grown in the last almost year, um, that I know that I am not going to allow these things to, you know, have me quit. I'm not going to allow these things to, um, make me not work my business like every single day you guys like I'm not even kidding you I'm not being dramatic I know that a lot of people struggle with anxiety and I know that they struggle you know with negativity let's be honest you guys I'm throwing that out there because there's a huge huge difference between mental illness and just having a bad attitude with this business so for me when my butt is stuck in bed and I can't even get myself up to shower and the only reason I get out of bed is because I know that I have dogs to feed like I could go without feeding myself, you guys, but I want more and I need more. Um, and this business, like I said, changed my life. It saved my life. Um, there were times when my mental illness got the best of me. And if it wasn't for this business and for my team to turn to and for people that looked up to me, I would not be doing what I'm doing now. Like I am exactly where I'm supposed to be right now. I'm not comparing myself to anybody. Like I've had people that go diamond, you know, in a few months. If I sat here and I said, oh, well, I'm not diamond in a couple months, I'm quitting. That would be a choice, you guys, and who knows where I would end up if I just decided to give up. Because right now, that's just, yeah, that's where I'm supposed to be. So yeah. I love your story so much. So you have struggled with mental illness, you've done yes. this, this before, and so now I want you to talk to me. I want you to talk to me a little bit about this, this SMART. Oh, yes. And how you, how somebody, once they have a clear, once they know why they're doing this business, they know why they want more for their lives. Yep. How do they go about setting those goals for themselves? So um, for SMART, that's the acronym for it. It's specific, measurable achievable, relevant, and time bound. So specific, you guys don't sit here and make these goals that are not going, to, they're just like loose goals of like, oh, you know, one day I'd like to be here. No, get down to it, put it in front of your face, put it on a post-it note, every single place that you look in your house. I have it in my car, my bathroom, my kitchen, be specific. That's and that's like the beautiful thing about this business too, guys, is you can have a specific, like how much money do you want to make? 
Do you want to make $500 a month? That's a ruby. Do you want to make $2,000 a month? That's a diamond. So yeah. there is no reason for you to say, oh, you know, I'd like to make some money. No, how much money do you want to make? You want to make yep. 200 a month? That's executive. That's a rank. We have a clear set chart <laughs> with rules for promoting. I can put in front of you and say, this is how you do that. I mean, it's, it's an average. I will say it's an average, obviously. It's based on sales. But um, I knew that if I wanted to make a quote unquote full time income, that meant that I needed to go diamond because I was an average about eighteen hundred dollars a month. Um, so that's a specific goal is is a rank that that you want to hit. Um, Absolutely. Okay, so then measurable. So don't. Um, think, I'd like to get some customers yes. <laughs> or some teammates. How so you guys, your measurable needs to be meaningful. It needs to motivate the hell out of you. If it is not measurable and not motivating you, then go strive bigger. Like your measurable goal should be something that motivates you every single day. So, I so that's listen, measurable for me. Uh, listen to this podcast. And it was talking about this woman who joined a direct sales business after she had had a pretty successful corporate career. And so when she started her network marketing business, she said, um, I want to make $5,000 a month. Well, that's how much she was making at her day job. And mm -hmm. so it felt like every month she was struggling to, to hit it, right? She was like, oh, it felt like such a, so then she hit it. And then all of a sudden she realized, like, I'm not excited about this. Like, I'm not excited about this dollars a month I've done five thousand dollars a month as soon as she turned her goal to twenty thousand dollars a month y'all she was fired up she was yep. she jumped out of bed every morning at the thought of making that much money so even if even if you started last week even if you started yesterday and your goal was that two hundred three hundred dollars a month and you haven't hit it yet does that ex does that really excite you when you know that there's people making tens of thousands of dollars a month which is okay if it does, because $300 a month was super exciting to me when I got started. But what I'm saying is dig down deep and find that number that actually does make you a little nervous, shaking your boots a little bit, and make that your goal, because that is going to be what excites you and gets that fire under your butt. And it's, po it's possible. Making $5,000 paychecks right here, y'all, going for $12,000. Like, I'm, I would not be sitting here telling you guys to dream big if it was not possible for you to achieve it so um then goes into achievable <laughs> right right so um achievable it needs to be big enough to motivate you but it needs to be something that is achievable so something that that is a goal that's going to push you out of your comfort zone but is going to be something that you know you can do in like, the time that you're giving yourself Distributor today, it's December 20th. You're not going to say, I'm going to go triple diamond by the end of the month. That might right. get you feel excited. <laughs> and yes. I love to do it. Yeah. But I just don't, I just, I've been trying to go triple diamond for three and a half years. <laughs> like, let's be real. So, uh, yeah. so something like if you've never done it before, filling out your steps to success before the yes. month is over. That's four customers and three distributors even if you haven't signed anybody up yet this month you've got 11 days from today 10 days tomorrow to sign up four customers and three distributors now that might be that might seem not achievable to those of you who maybe haven't signed it up is. yet or haven't signed a distributor yet but let me tell you if you get real real about the rest of your goals and your why it's it's achievable it's 100 percent achievable um so yeah so is kind of not being realistic. We want you guys to dream big, but also looking at your, your goals. And then the, the last one is timeline too. So, um, mm -hmm. but, and is that, does that back to like your why as well? What was that? Does the relevant part go back to like your why as well? Oh yeah. For, for me personally, for like relevant and real, like, cause relevant to me is like making a realistic goal, something that you know that I can achieve. Um, and, and for me, my, my smart goals were, like I said, they were, they were very specific. I knew I wanted to reach $500 a month. And then when I reached $500 a month, I was like, okay, it's going to be a thousand. Like, yes, always know what rank you're going after, but you guys like, don't put a rank on like your success. Like if no, you know I, that. It's 
I know Double yes. Diamond's in the top 150 of this company. Yeah. People at my rank making $12,000, $13,000, $14,000 a month, y'all. And the, dime, the Double Diamond average is like four, four thousand, five thousand. Yeah. So yeah. you can be a ruby bringing in like a diamond paycheck. You can be mm -hmm. a diamond bringing in like a triple diamond paycheck. So um, I do think that a dollar amount is great. Um, especially because of all, all the ways that we make money. Like when you hit a certain rank, that's only your average commissions, not counting weekly bonuses and not counting promotional bonuses. So like, for example, I went back and I counted up, I've made $9,000 in weekly bonuses alone this year. Yeah. Like that's crazy to me because my first year, I think I made like seven, <laughs> like I didn't, you know what I mean? I made like 700. Mm -hmm. Like nowhere close to 900, but that's why we're saying dollar amount. Like if your yeah. dollar goal right now is $500 a month, like, yes, obviously like that's Ruby. And I want to put a Ruby chart in front of you and have you get excited about that. But I also want you to sign up five distributors and get $500 in fast star bonuses every yeah. month. That's your $500 a month. So I love it. And then time bound. Yep. Setting a timeline for yourself. Yes. And time based, time limited. Um, I mean, don't just go in, like I said, be specific with your time. Like, know what you want to achieve. Like, your, what's your monthly goal? What is your yearly goal? What is your, you know, what is your timeline for this? So. Right, right. And if you don't hit it in a certain timeline, you just change the timeline, not the goal. Yes, absolutely. I went double diamond in March of this year. I really wanted to go triple diamond by June. Hello, it's December. Haven't done it yet. <laughs> Six months later. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to go triple diamond anymore. Of course I'm going to go. This is going to happen next month or the month after or the month after. I'm not going to stop until it matches up. But it is but it is still important to say I'm going triple diamond by Mar by the end of March. Like yes. that's new. I'm saying like I will be triple diamond by the end of March. So I love that. Okay, so once you have your SMART goals, you've got your specific, measurable, and relevant, time-bound goals. Now you're thinking, okay, Hope, well, like, I've got these goals, and it sounds great, and, like, it does excite me, but I'm still just, like, I'm still just, like, not sure if I can do it, and sometimes I have, like, really bad days. Sometimes a lot of people say no. Sometimes, you know, sometimes my depression kicks in. I want to stay in bed. Sometimes my anxiety kicks in. I don't want to send messages. Just for clarification, I know I shared a little bit of her story. I also have generalized anxiety. Um, I just literally got diagnosed earlier this year. I never had a name for it all through high school. I'm a very weird kind of anxious person because I'm the anxious person that, that like, over <laughs> I like over talk and overreact to try to take control of social situations instead of being like maybe what you think of as an anxious person who's like maybe shy and like stays away from things um and so my whole life I didn't know that that was anxiety <laughs> I just thought that I was like weird and talked too much when I got nervous like that's kind of how I brushed it under the rug um but what I realized is that especially within this business where I am talking with so many people obviously not just you guys but my potentials and people online and strangers like I don't even know um it's a lot and I have like actually pretty severe messaging anxiety like almost every single day <laughs> when I go to sit down to send new messages um because I don't think there's a single person on here who can say that we've sent messages and haven't gotten a negative response at some point um but this is kind of when I want to talk about um that really really clear mindset piece um which is that it's not just about believing in your why it's not just about believing in your goals um it's about believing in this opportunity okay and so that's kind of what Karina was saying you know she she I, I worked I had two jobs I was in school Karina had, had worked she had gone to she's a licensed esthetician again now she works in a spa um you know I know that almost everyone on this zoom has a job or kids or school or something else that you know that's going on in their lives um and you have to understand that this is different this is special this is really really special what you have your hands on um and you have to believe in it because that is what gets me over that anxious hump like every single day it's not because oh no one's gonna be crappy to me today i don't know that it's not because oh you know i'm gonna know every answer to every question because i don't know that 
But what I do know in my heart is that we have the most incredible line of products, some of which help with anxiety, by the way. So if you have a struggle with anxiety um, or depression and you haven't tried the Keto Energy, the Confianza, even the new immunity has like mood boosting stuff in it. I took some today and I felt way better. Um, you you need to you need to get on our products and you just need to get on our products period if you're feeling nervous about messaging people and talking to people about the products like you need to just use them and see the results for yourself because that's going to really help but at the end of the day i understand that this is a lot bigger than me like this is a lot bigger than us just like sitting on a zoom you know the 10 of us or however many people are on here 12 of us i understand that you know this is a lot bigger than just my three years in the business, you know, this is a company, a company that has been around since 2001. We have a corporate team, we have human resources, we have a customer service line that you can call, like this is so much bigger than you. So if you are feeling anxious about going out and sharing this, because you're nervous about like what other people are going to say about it, then your, your belief in this specific opportunity, you just need to deepen your roots. And by that, I literally mean like this company has been around for almost 18 years. We are debt free. We are family owned. We give back hundreds of thousands of dollars every single year to children's cup, which helps feed hungry kids in Africa. Um, natural resource, natural disaster, um, I don't, not prevention, but uh, resources for people who have hurricanes, fires, things like that, um, anti-sex trafficking. I mean, everything you can think of. It's a Christian-based company. We literally have like worship nights at every single It Works event that you can go to. Um, and it's just, it's just good. It's good. We have integrity. We don't try to be something that we're not. We don't try to share results that aren't ours. Like you just need to plug in. And that's kind of, I think, what me and Karina talked about earlier also is that, you know, when you start sinking into that place of, I know my why, and I know why it's important, and I know my goals, and I know that I can do them, but I literally don't feel like I can make myself pick up my phone and message right now. And I think a lot of people feel like they're alone in that, right? Like a lot of you guys are thinking like, oh, wow, I thought I was the only one who ever felt that way, you know? Hope Hope makes it look so easy, you know, all these things. No, guys, I literally felt like that yesterday. <laughs> like, I could not make myself pick up my phone to send out some dang messages on Instagram. So what you have to do in those moments is you have to find a way to self-care that isn't just vegging out on the couch and eating potato chips, like getting all mushy brained. Like, you yeah. need to find a book, you need to find a video, you need to find a leader that inspires you, you can watch their videos. You need to call your upline. Oh my God, you need to call your upline because every single person above you, doesn't matter how far down you are, like you guys know my Facebook, you know where to find me, like you can tell me I'm having a crappy day and like I will work through that with you. Um, yeah. The very, very worst thing that you can do is unplug because you feel like you're alone. You feel like you're the only one that ever feels that way. You feel like you're just, a, if you can't make yourself do it, then you're just a failure. You're not a failure. You're not a failure until you choose to unplug and not do this business rather than reach out and do something about it. So, um, yeah, but I have, um, okay. So yeah. So tell me, tell me some of your I have five. Well, I wrote like some stuff down, um, kind of like my day, I guess. Uh, find your people like this business. It's so important because yes, I have all of my family who supports me. I have an amazing boyfriend who supports me. Um, I, I got really lucky with my friends um, that support me as well, but not everybody has that. And even though I do have that, that still for me wasn't what I needed to fill that void with. I needed people in this business. They don't get it. And I exactly. don't have to sign the same exactly. incredible. He's literally sitting in the other room so I can do this Zoom right now, like not get any shit about not spending time with him. Yeah. I incredible. I've got like three of my best friends who they have never done the business, but they're customers. Yeah. They don't get it. They don't yep. understand the ups and downs, the dreams, the goals, the struggle, the company, the products. Like it's just not in their brain. And so yeah. Yeah, you feel like you have not found uh, like your tribe 
yet in in this business in this opportunity get in the team chat get in the team page make sure you've been added also to like morgan griffin's team page and jade hooper's team page because we've got like thousands and thousands of sideline sisters just dying for <laughs> connection and, and friendship and you yeah. can find people that you literally never expected that will become you know your very very best friends so yeah, find your people for sure that was like my my go-to um find your hobbies like for me yes this business i love to do it it is definitely one of my hobbies but you need to unplug that means put your phone away put yourself on airplane mode if you have to and go take your mind somewhere else so yes. find your hobbies and then find your personal development especially when you're having a bad day y'all yep. if you are having a terrible bad day sitting on your phone and scrolling on instagram trying to convince yourself to work your business you are now wasting your time comparing yep. yourself to other people and can i say once again wasting your time like you are better off putting it down walking away reading a book doodling singing just yep. listening to music meditating praying going on a run like anything that you can literally do. that's what i have like i have i have youtube books yep. exercise i just yep. started a 50-day squat challenge for myself <laughs> to literally get my ass out of bed and do 50 squats so just saying um go take a walk like i have somebody on my team who literally spends she puts an app like 30 minutes a day away to go walk um picking yourself up by literally doing these things mm -hmm. because force if you're sitting there forcing yourself to like get on your phone and like and do the business like you need to find something else these are all things also that like if you if you struggle with anxiety and depression you've ever asked somebody like what can i do like these are all things people are going to tell you to do yeah absolutely. Go, and go for a walk take take a shower literally just go to yep. <laughs> yeah yeah for a hot shower wash your hair shave your legs do a face mask like you know what i'm saying yeah. like sit down journal read like anything that you can do to just recharge your batteries and just and if you and if you are one of those people who's like yeah guys that sounds great but i don't have 30 minutes to do diddly squiddly then you need to find five minutes to put away your phone sit down and take just deep breaths for yeah. five freaking minutes it will make the biggest difference in your day and if you are a religious person you can pray during that time if you're not and that doesn't float your boat then just try some meditating meditations are amazing yeah. um there's apps for that you can search them um even just five minutes to just unplug reconnect you know make yourself feel a little bit better i love that and then that is really at the heart i think of what we're saying on this zoom is like we're not saying it's easy. <laughs> we're not saying that me and Karina feel like rainbows and butterflies every day because I'm a unicorn. What are you talking about? I'm just kidding. Miles, twenty four seven. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, that's not. What I go buy coffee mugs when I don't feel good, you guys. <laughs> Therapy. Um, what we are saying is that we we feel these things. And we do what we need to, to take, take care of ourselves. And then we get back on the horse. Yep. We don't take five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes to like go do whatever's going to make us feel better. And then just like, like do nothing the rest of the day. Like we take a deep breath and we pick up our phone and we do what we know we're, we need to do to be successful. Because once again, it just comes back to your why. And, and honestly, yep. if you guys take my advice, that I gave at the very beginning of the Zoom about making your why about you and the kind of person that you want to be, it's going to be a lot easier for you to practice that self-care because I can tell you I'm a lot more kind <laughs> and loyal and generous and all of these things when I don't feel like an anxious ball of like craziness, right? When I take that time to take care of myself, to read, to write, to walk my dog, to call a friend and not talk about it work, you know, all of these things um i come back into my business and i am a better person i come back home to my husband and i'm a better person i go to my family events and i'm a better person <laughs> and that and that should be at the root um of your why all along so um i wanted to drop some of my favorite podcasts books and it works like leaders 
that way you can write them down and use them. I'd like Karina to do the same thing. And then I would love to open this up for like more specific questions. Um, you can, if you type, um, if you're at the bottom, top, I should say participants. And if you click participants and then you click chat, there's like a little chat box. You can type your question in. Um, and if not, then you can kind of you know, wrap it up. But um, so some of my favorite, favorite podcasts, the Gary V show. If you guys don't know my man, Gary Vaynerchuk, you don't listen to him with kids around, but he will put a fire under your butt. That's for sure. Um, the Pam Souter podcast. If you guys don't know who Pam Souter is, like, She's our chief networking officer of It Works, and she is like, she gets younger every day. I think it's collagen, but she's like, it's been incredible. Um, I'm trying to think about other podcasts I like. Sometimes I'll just find like, Wendy. I love Rachel Hollis. She's the one who, read, who uh, wrote Girl on Your Face. She has a podcast as well. Um, and then I like You Are a Badass. This is her newest book. There's You Are a Badass. You Are a Badass at Making Money. And this is You Are a Badass Every Day. I definitely the first book first. Um, you Are a Badass. It's just like a general good um, what? Um, Five Second Rule by Mel Robbins. Anything by Tony Robbins. Anything Karina has on here. Girl, wash your face, get over your damn self, grace, not perfection, a hundred days to brave. There's so many, if you guys don't know who Brene Brown is, she has a series of books, starting with The Gifts of Imperfection. Um, I know it's like a bunch of them, but like there you have it. Um, you can just go on YouTube and just search motivation, inspiration, um, anything like that. And, you know, I think that's one of the most important things, um, you know, with keeping your mindset right is just listening to and reading those things that remind you um, you are a badass. <laughs> it's not just the book. It's reminding you that everyone has, a choice. everyone has choices. Everyone has things that they're going through. Everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. Um that kind of reminds you of, of who you are and how you and you know what you can do um so yeah i don't know i didn't see let me see here yes youtube carry on if you guys do no i learn how to do this business from jay cooper's youtube channel and trial and error and I that I was joking, <laughs> but I'm, I did, I did not have a team page, we did not have weekly team Zooms, we did not have like a big pop-in team chat, the first time you had been doing it for two weeks, and I figured out how to do this from watching Jade Hooper on YouTube, <laughs> and that's it, <laughs> that's all I did, so, um, yes, I love it, she's dropping more, um, yeah, Chuck, Tony Robbins, Mel Robbins, Be Inspired on YouTube, um, a bunch of, a bunch of really good ones. So, um, I'm trying to think of what else we talked about earlier. I should have taken better, but I guess I just really wanted to instill in you guys that you're really not alone. You're really, really not. Um, even in that darkest place that you can get into, um, you have people not just in general, like in this business, like literally on this team, in your team chat, um, that are here for you, that want, you know, that want to help you, that can relate to you. Um, and it's all just a choice, you know? I was going to kind of bring up the chat, actually. Um, we, that chat is utilized to help you guys to give you quick answers because we're always trying to check in on it but that chat is also to make you feel like you you have somebody you guys if you're having a bad day like i don't want you to go in there and just put your negativity into that chat because that is not what that chat is intended for go into that chat and say hey guys i'm not having the best day we want to pour into you like trust me i've had times where i've had to go to the chat and in five minutes the love and support that i get from everybody in that chat is like okay take a deep breath get back to your why and then move on. Like, so use, you use that chat, not only just for information or answers, but use that chat for like anything as far as like motivation or needing like a little pep talk or something. 
and that's not to say like go in there and be like i've had the worst day this this and that like exactly no, like, hey guys i'm needing some support i'm needing some i need some positivity send I me love some, send, me send me some love and we will we'll send your prayers we'll send you love because that's what we want i love this quote karina just sent a positive attitude gives you power over your circumstances instead of your circumstances having power over you and, you know, I think that, you know, Karina hit the nail on the head earlier when she said, you know, there's a huge difference between um, having a mental illness and having a bad attitude. <laughs> and, it's, and it's very, very true, because even though me and Karina struggle with mental illness, we don't have a bad attitude. Even though it's hard, even though we get anxious, even though some days it's really, really hard. Um, it's not like we wake up every morning like, oh, my life sucks. We wake up every morning like, okay. Nor do we feel like, oh, my God, I have to work my business. If you're feeling like, oh, I have to work my business. I don't have that goal. That goal exactly. is specific exactly. and, and, and making you excited. Like, yeah, the only disability yep. is a bad attitude. I love that, Crystal. It's so yep. true. So true. Like, you, everybody has, a, everyone has a choice to be successful. And, you know, we are literally moving into this this season that happens every single year ever not promoted in March and like that's just the way that my business is gone because of the boom season so we're moving into this period of time you know January through March where anything can happen anything I literally do not care if you are a not commissions qualified distributor without a single person on your team you can go diamond by the end of March like that is the power of these next three months it is all up to your mindset and your work ethic between now and then that's it that's all that's holding you back so um i think that's about all that i have for you guys you know more. yeah uh, we're, oh god the, bo the dogs are barking sorry yeah before i hop off because i gotta run and and get some shopping done before my flight but last thing i kind of want to leave you guys with is that exactly what crystal said the only disability is a bad attitude because at the end of the day Yes, I struggle. Yes, I technically am diagnosed with something, but I don't count that as something that's going to be a disability for me. I know myself and I know my worth and I know what my goals are and why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I will never, I'm not going to use that as an excuse. As much as I know physiologically, like physiologically, I have these, you know, things going on with me, but I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, I just can't do that because mentally it's just I'm not capable like no that is not true do not tell yourself that like push through you guys like I push every single day like this has probably been the worst depression in the last three months that I've ever experienced and it's been hard as hell but I'm pushing through and that's the bottom line and now yeah. I have more packages being delivered at my house <laughs> thank you uh, thank you for being on I love you guys so much I love you so 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 much um, I love oh, you all. Thank you oh, guys for allowing oh me. I have, okay, I love you guys. I'm sorry, I have cookies at my door. I'm sorry, I gotta go. Bye. Thank you guys so much for allowing us to do this Zoom tonight. Thank you so much for giving us this, um, this space, this platform to talk about these things. Um, I know for a fact that me and Karina are not the only ones. I've talked to some of you about the things. We've talked to the team. Some of you have um, about the things that you've been going through. So I hope that this just shows you that you are truly never alone. Um, we're in this business for ourselves, but not by ourselves. I hope this gave you guys some good ideas about how you can dig deeper into your why, how you can set your goals for the new year and things that you can do to, you know, get yourself back on track when you do have those, you know, those bad days, those, those days where it just feels hard and dark and, you know, bad um, to take care of yourself for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes so that you can come back into this business and be the person who you want to be. Um, because at the end of the day, you know, this is an incredible opportunity to make an income, but it's also an incredible opportunity to become the person that you've always wanted to be. Um, and I know that I've said this to many of you, but if you haven't heard me say it before, um, the person that I was three years ago, most of you, or I guess four years ago now, uh, most of you would not recognize. You would not recognize her because she was not this kind of person. Um, and I'm very, very grateful every single day for this opportunity, not only for changing my bank account, but for changing my mindset and for changing me um, into the kind of person I always wanted to be. So thank you guys so much. Next week at the same time, we are going to have a Zoom on using the Connect app.
and we are going to dig in on getting ready for the new year, y'all, because we've got like a week and a half left of 2018, which is crazy. I can't even believe it. We've got so much exciting stuff coming up uh, in the next week for me and my little family. Stay posted to my Facebook on Christmas if you don't know the news already. It's going to be a huge announcement. My Facebook and Instagram are going to explode, and I'm so excited about it. Um, but I just, I'm so excited for the next, this next year, guys, as much as this has been a year of, you know, embracing my anxiety, going into counseling for the first time, having to get over so many humps in, in my personal life and my mental health. Um, I know that 2019 is the year that this team goes top 150 and I just could not be more excited about it. So thank you guys again for getting on today and we'll see you guys next week. Bye.